We are going to cover how to scatter grass and trees on terrain in Godot 4. This process will save you a lot of time and is super useful for foliage. If you want to see more tutorials, hit that subscribe button. So let's start with downloading Proton Scatter by clicking Asset Library. Up here in the top middle and search for Scatter. I've tried all of them and Proton Scatter works the best for me. Now you click it and press download. You can also do this manually via the link in the description to the GitHub page. Now when it's installed, search for showcase and open up the scene. This scene is great for figuring out how the plugin works. But I'm gonna make a new 3D scene and add a CSG box and drag it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna Add a scatter node to the scene, proton scatter, and you will get all the children with it. Inside of the proton scatter node, you can change the amount that will spawn inside of it. And you can also mess around with the rotation and other stuff. When you're happy with that, you can save a preset and load it in the future. Next up, the scatter item. This is where you determine what item will be spawned. In my case, it's a stylized bush. It could also be grass. Another important setting for this one is the scale multiplier in case you think it's too big. I forgot to mention that you have to enable use collision for the CSG box because the way this works is that it snaps to collisions. Next up, the scatter shape. I'm gonna lower this a bit to show you. It snaps to the collision. And where there's no collision, it doesn't snap. Important settings on this one is the shape. And first off, I'm gonna show the box shape. It's very simple. Drag it out, just like the CSG box. I had to go back, so that's why it looks a little bit different. If you wanna add grass, duplicate this proton scatter and locate your grass. And then change the scale of it. For me it's too big. Now I'm gonna make the bushes a little bit bigger. And for the bushes, I'm gonna make a box shape, drag this box shape out a little bit. For the grass, I'm gonna increase the amount to something like 300. Now you can duplicate this shape for the grass and make it negative and also sh change it to the path shape. Up here in the top middle, you have a blue one, and that's used for moving points around. A green one, that's used for creating points. I'm gonna make a couple points here. I had gizmos turned off, so that's why I couldn't see them. I'm just gonna remove all these points and make them again. And the red one is used for removing points by clicking on existing points. Now you select the uh, scatter path shape again and change the thickness until you have the result you're looking for. And there you have a path shape. Let's duplicate that and put it inside of the bushes as well. And when we're happy with that, we can create a material for the CSG box and make it green. And drag in some trees. And there you have it. And this is what you can make with this tool, super fast and super easy. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I made this because I couldn't find any other tutorials that cover this in depth in a beginner way. And if you're still here, why don't you join my Discord server?